afraid of it. I, sh I should have been a movie star. I, lo I missed my calling. I'm recording right now. <laughs> <laughs> missed my calling, baby. All right, Coach. I uh, just got done with a practice at CC. How long How long have you guys been in the room? Uh, we've been well, we going to September 28th. All right. So how, a little more than three weeks now, I think. How, how's the team look so far at this I early think we're point? pretty good. I think we're doing well. We're making gains where we need to make gains. I think uh, the young guys are progressing, and I think that's kind of what I'm looking for right now. So yeah. with 15 freshmen in there right now and, uh, you know, 10, 12 older guys, I'm looking for uh, those older guys to bring those freshmen along. You two, uh, we got a national qualifier and an All-American uh, showing those guys what's up. Yeah, How's but, that going? You know what? Uh, Matt's doing a great job. Uh, he's a worker. Uh, you guys watch him say a little bit. He loves to wrestle. He's a hardworking kid. Uh, Ricky Schmeling's a, you know, is a national qualifier. He's been in the top 20 in the country. Uh, I'm looking for big things from those guys, those guys, mm -hmm. and the, the wrestlers. And that's kind of what, what we need to be successful. All right. And then this year, uh, I guess most of last year and this year, you got Scott Owen helping you out. Scott give Owen, me, yes, he's awesome. He's, I, I coached him in Northern for a little bit, so I was at Northern Illinois for a couple of years with Scott. Um, I won't say he was my first All-American because uh, uh, I just worked out with him. <laughs> but I coached him when you know, he was an All-American for me at Northern, and uh, he's just been a great asset as far as recruiting and training these guys the last couple of years. I can't, you know, he's truly one of the best coaches in the country. It seems like you're keeping him busy. Oh, I grind him out on a daily basis. <laughs> Surprised he didn't quit on me yet. <laughs> Great. Uh, new facilities, I see you said. New locker room, new weight room, new wrestling room, all coming, you know. Exciting time to be part of our program. Uh, we're, we're, only getting, we're getting better recruits. We're getting uh, new facilities. Um, now it's just my job to hopefully uh, win more. And I think we're on the right path to do that. What I mean, what do all those facilities mean? What else is that going to do for you besides? You know, it's going to it's going to let us go after the best kids in the country. It's going to allow us to um, compete with the best best programs. You know, with Penn State down the road, getting Cal Sanderson, and getting and with their facilities, you got Edinburgh, you got Clarion, Lock Haven, you got Buckner, you got Lehigh, University of Pennsylvania. We're in a great great wrestling area. We got to keep up. And uh, we're going to do that by work ethic and uh, just uh, you know, building our facilities and uh, raising the monies that we need to raise to, to keep our program you know, healthy. Mm -hmm. Well, one thing you got going for you is uh, you got Flow Wrestling on your computer. Flow's the best, baby. <laughs> we need it. Mm -hmm. Without it, there is no wrestling. <laughs> All right, uh, tell me. Uh, now you have you guys have you have guys training freestyle here for senior yes. level stuff. Yes, um, Bryce Hosman, my brother-in-law, he comes out here quite often and trains. Um, Scott Owen still competing um, a little bit. Um, he's going to get back into it here soon, just getting over some injuries. Um, my one of my guys is placed University Nationals. I took him over to Korea this past summer. Um, and also, I coached the University World Team in Poland this summer. Uh, so that was a great experience for me also. So we're heavily involved in the freestyle scene. Uh, right now, um, I'm, I coach a little bit with the New York Athletic Club uh, because of uh, Bryce Scott and Kyle Sermonera a little bit. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm slow, slowly making my way in way with USA Wrestling. It's, uh, it's worth it. All right. Well, I've never been uh, to this part of Pennsylvania. Drive over here was awesome. You God's know, country, baby. Or, Come on, Joe. You got a, you got a, you an outdoorsman? No. <laughs> I, lo I, I love to be on my couch. Yeah. When I'm not here, I'm on my couch with a remote in my hand. Nice. And, and a Pepsi. Bader, you got anything? Yeah. Come on, top dog Bader. Oh, man. What's the most exciting part about this upcoming season? Matt Moley having a chance to win a national championship. Yeah. We haven't had one since um, Ricky Bonomo, and I think it was 85. Nice. So, uh, people, a lot of people are, you know, Matt's a two-time All-American, but uh, people have forgot about him so far. You know, he's ranked second, but people don't think he's that good, and I beg to differ. What, what's it take to wrestle like he does? You watch him seven minutes, and he's in your face, brawling, banging. It seems like uh, he can uh, just he can put go, people in pain. He can go forever. That's just a style we preach on a consistent basis. I don't let our guys take timeouts. Um, we push our guys hard on a daily, consistent basis, whether it be in the morning lifts morning drilling sessions or afternoon wrestling. But but he bought in 100%, and that's why he's where he is today. Remember, he was only a state runner-up in, in high school. Really? Pennsylvania State runner-up, now he's a two-time All-American. Potentially be our first time, first three-time All-American since 1989. Nice. That's it. You talk about pushing them consistently. Um, how do you do that 
and not burn them out and still have them ready in five months? Well, I think being burnt out is a state of mind. I think, um, but I also believe this, most of our training is done before January. I say 60 to 70 percent of our train, hard, hard training before mid-January. That way when I get to February, I can back off of them and I can let them recover and get healthy and then and make a final push in March. You know, we, as a team, we don't wrestle real well in early in the season because I, I train them really, really hard. But we really do well in January, February, and into March because I back off on my leg and recover a little bit. So that's kind of our philosophy. I don't, I don't, I think it works. <laughs> <laughs> so we've had pretty good results the last couple of years. So I think I'm doing something right. All right. Anything else you want to tell us about uh, Bloomsburg? I just think uh, we're, we're a program on the rise. Um, EWL is a tough wrestling league with Edinburgh, Lockhaven, and Clarion, Pittsburgh, West Virginia, Cleveland State, and ourselves. We got young coaches who are hustle. Um, so it's a league that's definitely on the rise. It's a program on the rise, and we want to be getting the top 20 and eventually getting that top 10 echelon. All right, we talked a little bit about the uh, Flow Nationals. What do you think? Awesome idea. If, 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 if you young kids out there don't do it, foolish. Fullest. There's so many opportunities for you guys. You got to take advantage of it. All right. Appreciate it, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate him coming out. How about you gonna get my hand?